it's becoming increasingly obvious that almost every business has to become a technology-driven business in order to thrive. And data has rapidly become one of the most powerful sources of competitive differentiation. And as we are looking towards more demanding applications of artificial intelligence in order to unlock the value of our data, it's important that we consider the impact of these demanding workloads on our infrastructure and other investments that we make. Think millions of concurrent calculations happening on top of hundreds of terabytes to hundreds of petabytes, and in some cases that we are directly involved in thousands of petabytes worth of data, which is why it's important that we develop sustainable strategies around managing big data and scaling artificial intelligence initiatives appropriately. There are some key principles that we need to consider for operational sustainability. For instance, the same consistent view of the data should be made available to multiple data science teams without duplication so that we can avoid increasing costs unnecessarily. Each team should be given access to their own isolated environment so that they can work on different projects using different frameworks, tool sets, and libraries, but on the same data at the same time. And during the life cycle of these projects, teams will need to have access to varying degrees of resources. Therefore, um, very rigid boundaries should be avoided between these environments. And as it was mentioned earlier, security is, of course, very important, not just from a data loss prevention perspective, but also from the perspective of preventing other sophisticated attacks that might be impacting the integrity of the data in subtle ways, poisoning the model development and the training process. And finally, multi-cloud platform agnostic operating models are becoming increasingly important to the world of artificial intelligence. Intrinsic security um, and consistent governance and control over consumption of resources across multiple platforms is vital to continued productivity. There are many organizations that adopt a do-it-yourself approach. But your point of value isn't in your IT departments making individual technical and component level decisions. Differentiation is found in creating environments where you can fail faster, when you can explore without fear of losing too much time and exploring new different uh, learning opportunities and where you can accelerate time to productivity and time to insight, which is why many of you start your journeys in the cloud, leveraging, for instance, machine learning as a service consumption models. What we find is that due to data proximity and gravity issues, potentially regulatory or compliance requirements, or basic cloud economics, some of our customers find it challenging to scale their AI initiatives beyond a certain point in the cloud. And this is why, at Dell Technologies, we have developed our AI-ready architectures. These are pre-validated solutions designed by data scientists, for data scientists, for the sole purpose of maximizing time to productivity and time to insight on on-premises-based deployments. These solutions also integrate with third-party ecosystems and cloud providers to complement a multi-cloud operating model. Our solutions are also supported by our AI advisory services, services such as data cleansing, use case validation, or education services for those organizations that might be impacted by skill shortage issues. If you'd like to find out more, I'd like to encourage you to attend my colleague's session, Thomas Henson. Thomas will be presenting at 11.55 at Park Suite. He will be discussing the practical considerations that you need to take into account when scaling your AI initiatives from proof of concept to full-on productionization. If you've got additional questions, my colleagues are also available at booth 210 and would be more than happy to answer your questions. With that, I'd like to thank you for your attention and enjoy the rest of the conference.